Hello and welcome to Herald TV News at 3 with me, Tasleem. Benauli MLA Wenzi Viegas has alleged that the WRD manipulated the peak flood discharge and the carrying capacity of the river at the wholesale fish market point to generate figures that said that a large portion of the western bypass was not required on stills. He said Chief Minister Pramod Sawant was seen as environment friendly and the Benauli Panchayat appointed committee and he would meet the CM and show him how the WRD report was manipulated and push for a larger portion of the western bypass on stills. WRD manipulated the peak flood discharge and the carrying capacity of the river at the wholesale fish market. They generated figures that said a large portion of the western bypass was not required on stills. Benalim Panchayat appointed committee will meet the CM and show him how the WRD report was manipulated. MLA Wenzi Vegas also alleged that there was no political will to understand and challenge this report politically. We will challenge this now. The committee will show how this formula was manipulated, he said, while speaking on Herald TV's Point Counterpoint program on Western Bypass. The CM has uh, given a reassurance hmm. uh, of whatever the NGT report says, hmm. that a certain section uh, should be on stills and right. he has reconfirmed in the house, hmm. which is a good thing. Hmm. Now, uh, we will be again going to the uh, Chief Minister with this entire matter hmm. to make him understand that uh, the entire reports were made in a haphazard manner hmm. and in order to ensure that this kind of development goes ahead in a fast head, in a uh, speed track uh, process. So this report which came out specifically, specifically from the WRD, that WRD findings which came out from the report were all manipulated. The so just to, so, so yeah, just to explain, the Water Resources Department gave certain findings, you are saying, which tilted towards they saying that the Western bypass on stills is not justified because it it will not lead to a marginal difference in terms of protecting the fields. Yes, basically they have derived uh, mm -hmm. the peak flood discharge mm -hmm. to two formulas and mm -hmm. then they have derived the carrying capacity of the river at the fish market. Right. So these two formulas mm -hmm. and whatever they derived out of these two findings were not taken from resources or from uh, concrete information mm -hmm. were, were generated out of in order to come up with the figure Hmm. So that, that figure says, yes, stills are not required. Mm -hmm. And no one challenged this particular matter in a proper manner politically. Hmm. Because there was no political will or no political know-how right. of the politics or the politicians that were involved at that time. Right. The, that, uh, the, the MLA then. Mm -hmm. So they did not have the understanding to actually challenge this process which we will do it now we will sit down we will try to make everyone right. although it is a bit late but mm. yes we are confident because if the cm has agreed and which it looks that he's on a positive track mm. you know environmental mm. friendly mm. chief minister who has already agreed to a section mm. i think we all as a team now since we have formed a committee mm. we will go we mm. will address him we will show him mm. that how these people have manipulated these formulas and how it should have actually been you know what is the ground reality mm. and showing him that i think then there is a hope you know with this year bureau report for herald tv Coal wagons which were parked at the Baina Railway goods shed emitted smoke. Seeing the smoke, the people immediately alerted the Vasco Fire Services. The fire services immediately got the coal out of the wagons and sprayed them with water. The fire officer stated that on 10th May, a similar incident had occurred between 1.30 am to 4.30 am. He added it may be happening due to the rise in temperatures due to summer. Coal wagons which were parked at the Baina Railway goods shed emitted smoke. People immediately alerted the Vasco Fire Services. The fire officer stated that it may be happening due to the rise in temperatures due to summer. Actually, 
कॉल ये कॉल ये संगता कि स्मोक 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 ये हम संगता आज दुटू बुर्ग गलो मास्सा उदक मारे सो रेम तेज मैं कमी जाए जेसी गए पुलिस सकते ये उड़ेल किरण बोरकर फॉर हेरल टीवी After the All Goa Kannada Mahasangh declared it would field candidates to contest Goa Panchayat elections, two-time former Sarpanch of Sangwal Sharan Methi has said that he has acquired strong support from Goans and Kannadigas alike to contest the elections from different wards. He argued that it's a citizen's fundamental right to contest elections. Former Sarpanch of Sangwal Sharan Methi has said that he has acquired strong support from Goans as well to contest the elections. He said it is a citizen's fundamental right to contest elections. If Goans embrace national parties like AAP and TMC in Goa, why can't a Goan Kannadiga contest elections? Question Methi. Sharan Methi said he will contest elections where he will receive majority of votes. If Goans have embraced national parties like AAP and TMC in Goa, why can't a Goan Kannadiga contest elections? Question Methi. Social media. The very good support and all the people uh, of the village are trying to tell me you got this from this word that word i have a demand i think uh, i will contest wherever i feel majority of people will vote for me irrespective of whether they are kannadigas or not ah no 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 i am not uh, saying i am telling villagers i am not uh, uh, contributing on uh, kannadigas all are equal we want support of full goa goans then only we can form the zones where the majority people were voted for me and made a sarpanch also were goans so we are here born and brought up i feel we are more goans and we are kannadiga staying in goa we are <coughs> rowing and going by the rules of goa we are following and uh, i think there is no problem in contesting election because we know goa very well and where we stay also we know properly of that village or whatever and i feel anybody can contest anywhere it is a fundamental rights and recently if you have seen in goa and vasco one boy from vasco has won in london he has become councillor there and in goa one can go there and become a councillor there you can get him elected why we cannot uh, contest and get elected in goa in panchayat or any assembly it is our right and also now goans and outsiders now aam aadmi party has come you have accepted tmc has come you have accepted so there are many parties outside and come here you accepted so what is the problem in kannadigas kiran borkar for herald tv water resources minister subhash shirodkar visited the karamboli lake and declared that his department would take up the issue of siltation with permission from the environment council estimate for beautification of the lake are also ready he said Sirodkar also opined that there is need for protection on the upper side of the lake to prevent the encroachment or else the lake will disappear. He also flagged that pollution of the lake needs to be stopped. Water Resources Department will take up the issue of siltation at Karamboli Lake. There is need for protection on the upper side of the lake to prevent encroachment. Water Resources Minister Subhash Shirodkar flagged that pollution of the lake needs to be stopped. प्रपोजल जो आसा पे एनवायरमेंटा वो एनवायरमेंट काउंसिल जो आसा पी ती एप्रूव के काम घोपे डेवलपमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सिल्टेशन जाना सिल्टेशन जात गए तड़ी साइज आसा ती कमी कमी जात वी सिल्टेशन का ग्रीन ग्रोथ जी आसा पी वाइल्ड ग्रोथ जी आसा पी ती का चौशे जमता जैसे 
अपर साइड जी आसा पे नी ती साइड आसा ती प्रोटेक्ट करपा जाए कारण कश आसता तळे खंचे तळे आसो त्या तळ्या भीतर एनक्रोचमेंट जावपा दिवपा जायना एनक्रोचमेंट जावपा दिल जर जायत जर तळ्याची साइज कमी कमी जायत वता आणि ए टाइम विल कम व्हेन द होल लेक ऑर द व्हॉट एव्हर लेक नॉट ओनली दिस लेक द लेक विल डिसएपियर ते जावपा दिवपा जायना एनी टाइम फ्रेम बाय व्हेन यू कॅन स्टार्ट दिस इट द मोमेंट वी गेट परमिशन फ्रॉम एनवायरमेंट काउंसिल विल टेक अप द वर्क इमीडिएटली ड्यूरिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर दिगंबर कामत्स टाइम देयर वाज अ प्रपोजल ऑफ ब्यूटीफाइंग दिस मेकिंग या वी हैव गॉट एन एस्टीमेट रेडी प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर दैट but then we are waiting awaiting for uh, environment ministers uh, approval okay so bas bas if required if required i will also invite uh, my colleague mr kabral oh. to have a visit at this site par ata halit eka wetland man declare korpa tumche government an kadlele pun inga panchayat ni doni panchayat in old gaon panchayat in tashe parmay panchayat te oppose kelele wetland inga wetland kitak te ki mtale ya akke full inga field mana ani teen pick katta katta karpa chis karpa jay pun सी वेटलैंड आणि पिके पीक काढपा दिसना की प्रॉब्लेम असतो असे इतलेच झालं की पळ हे आता वॉटर बॉडी तयार झाल्या पण नी इथून भीत थोडे लोकांचे पहिली शेतां आशि पण ती शेतां सांभाळपचे गागुदक सांभाळपचे हांव बेश्टे एक विचारता वेटलँड हा डिक्लेअर करचे नाही शिरोडा डिक्लेअर करचे नाही पंचवारी डिक्लेअर करचे नाही खूप करपचे डिक्लेअर लक्षात घेत ओपोजिशन हे बरे गजाली ओपोजिशन ओके फायन पण वेटलँड इज वेटलँड आणि एक इशू म्हणतात पण कन्झर्वेशन कन्झर्वेशन आणि एक इशू म्हणतात पण सिन्स यू आर हिअर एट दाईड इफ यू गो सी दॅट साईड दे हॅव बीन सर्टन पीपल अलिअ म्हणताले लागी लागी दॅट इज वॉट आय सेड ना एनक्रोचमेंट इन एनी लेक ऑर वॉटर बॉडी शुड नॉट बी अलाउड should not be allowed ha and again pollution part that also should be avoided na amko jata itli khatri ha ki jata itle begin tale jatle ya tale jalle karan mujhe bare beautification ami kartale ani already to plan ready asa ani thode asani kaam ami sab je gire formality asa te korun ami shuru kartale ani teje barobar lokang anga mujhe rozgar hi meltalo ani khub se gire lokang kaam meltale bare prasad polji for herald tv Two months after a horrific accident at the GVM Circle Ponda, a local bus and a Volvo bus en route from Pune to Margao were involved in an accident at the same place. The occupants of both escaped with minor injuries. The local bus conductor and the injured passengers were shifted to the sub-district hospital in Ponda, while the driver was referred to GMC Bambalim. A local bus and a Volvo bus en route from Pune to Margao were involved in an accident at the GVM Circle in Ponda. The occupants of both buses escaped with minor injuries. The conductor and passengers in the local bus were shifted to South District Hospital, Ponda, where the driver was referred to GMC Bambalim. Bandara Sarpanch Rajesh Naik said the GVM circle is prone to accidents and informed the authorities about the dangers the circle poses. He requested that the authorities look into a solution in order to avoid more such accidents. The circle is the highway. पूर्ण ज्युरिडिक्शन आमचे येतात बानोडा पंचायतीन येतात गेल्ले देड महिने पहिली हंगा असोच एक एक्सिडेंट जो आणि एकटो जाग्यार हंगा दिसा गवर्नमेंटाक दाखवून दिले की हे सर्कल कितले डेंजरस आहा ते मला इन बिटवीन एक सांगन दिसता की ही जी सर्कल बांधता हायवेचे जो खे ही कोणाचो जीव वचशे नी म्हणून बांधलेली असतात त्याच्या खात्री बांधप ट्रॅफिक चढ जाता आणि हंगा सिस्टमॅटिक ट्रॅफिका खातीर हे जीव कोणाचो वचो न्ही म्हणून ही सर्कल बांधता म्हाका आज मुद्दम हा सांगन दिसता हे सर्कल आहा ते जीव घेऊ खातीर बांधले असे दिसता म्हाका आमचो माननीय आमदार सुनील जवळीकर सराचे एक विजन आशिले जेव्हा ते पी डब्ल्यू डी मिनिस्टर आशिले तेव्हा की हे ट्रॅफिक जे हायवेचे ट्रॅफिक आहा ते हांगसल्यान फ्लायओवर बांधून फूल डायवर्ट करपाचे पूण काही योगायोगान त्यांना पी डब्ल्यू डी मिनिस्टराचे हितूतल्या काढले तेव्हाच्यान हे जो प्रोजेक्ट आहा हे कोणेच काही हाती घेऊ ना सनी हॉटेला कडच्यान ओल्ड गोवा सुद्धा जे हायवेचे काम असा ते इमिजिएटली हातीन घ्या असे लोकांचे जीव वचपा दिऊ नका आणि मेन म्हणल्यास मेन सगळ्यांच्यान चड हंगा डिपार्टमेंटान चडान चड लक्ष दिवपाची गरज आसा परत आणि कोणाचो जीव गोयचे परस हंगा खंय तरी किती तरी चेंजीस करून जे एक्सिडेंटल किती आसा किती खातीर जाता हेजे लक्ष दिवपाचे आणि बेगीच्या बेगीन हे तोडगा काढपाचो 
Hanuman Temple in Valpai celebrated its foundation day over Dhapan Din after two years with grand fervor with young and old joining in. The celebrations were not held for the last two years due to COVID pandemic. For more than 75 years, the temple has been celebrating Vardhapan Din, which was established by the village elders. As the years progress, the Vardhapan Din celebrations have evolved with introduction of various programs such as Mahaprasad. Hanuman Temple in Valpoi celebrated Vardhapan Din with grand fervor after two years. The temple has been celebrating Vardhapan Din for the last 75 years. Vardhapan Din celebrations have evolved with the introduction of various programs. अंगसर स्थापना के लिए जावा थी आने पे जब अंते मनोबल है ना कुछ तार आने करता 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 जी आज जो उत्तर से बरपुर का लला सा अने बरपुर उत्तर से जाता स्थान है कोई भी कोई नहीं साधे पना नहीं सकते पर आपका सगरे तरह से आयोजन है ना महाप्रसाद विशाल वो अता आयोजन है तो कोई नहीं है दायन असल दरवर्षा या ऐसा हम से जो उत्सव है साथ या उत्सव जो हम की परंपरी यहाँ से की वाड़त के लिए सा ये वाड़ते नहीं सा आता सगे हम जो भूर्गे बा नीचे सगे गांव के लोग आता है या उत्सव सगे सामील जाते अने सामील जाओ बहुत सो मटे आनंद आने फागरों का अतः दरवर्षा प्रमाणे अन्ना मनोरंजन जो कार्यक्रम अन्य हम जब अब तक मानने तो सगे सरकारी अधिकारी तो सगे जी कर्मचारी कौन सा अन्य इतर लोग आते हैं यहाँ तो महापुरुषों ने सब आगे जाने लगा दरबार सब परमाणु अन्य उत्सव सारे जो तो पट्टे दोनों लगते हैं और उत्सव कहीं अड़चनी लगों जाला नहीं लड़चन संपाजी कर रहे हैं उनको ना चाम का वेल In a view of Supreme Court judgment on double tracking, the Goa Foundation has opposed the doubling of a railway track between Margao and Vasco. Director Claude Alvarez argued that what is valid for wildlife is also applicable to human beings. The decision of the Supreme Court is also applicable outside the sanctuary. He also said that the Supreme Court has specifically stated that coal should not be brought through Goa but should be brought from Vishakapatnam to Mbellari. This is a great boost to the anti-coal campaign in Goa, he stated. The argument made for protecting wildlife is also applicable to human beings, Claude Alvarez said. Goa Foundation called on to stop double tracking from Margaon to Vasco. The decision of the Supreme Court is also applicable outside the sanctuary, Claude Alvarez said. That if we respect the decision of the Supreme Court, it means don't do any more double tracking work in this area. And therefore, if the economic argument that this coal should not be taken from this area but should be taken through some other area is valid for the wildlife sanctuary, it is also valid for human beings. It is not that the wildlife is greater and human beings are less or human beings are greater and wildlife is less. If you are doing something for the wildlife, you will also do it for the human beings. It is very clear that if you want to protect the wildlife, which we have, this is the reason why we went to the Supreme Court then you will also have to consider the impact that this project will have on the area between uh, Margao and Vasco where there is a very huge agitation which is still alive opposing double tracking. And we are also part of that campaign and we also support that campaign and according to us the decision of the Supreme Court in respect of Made, uh, Mole, Wildlife Sanctuary and National Park railway um, uh, double tracking is also applicable to the area outside the wildlife sanctuary, particularly the area from Margao to Vasco. And we hope that the authorities will drop their land acquisition proceedings 
and will proceed to respect the decision of the Supreme Court and to keep this area single track. The Supreme Court has made a very specific recommendation on coal, which is of great importance to the agitation against coal and declaring or making Goa into a coal hub. And the Supreme Court has said we agree with the, uh, with the CEC that coal should not be brought through Goa and it is better that it is brought through the other port from the east coast directly to Bellari rather than coming through Marmogoa Port Trust going to Bellari. So this is going to be a very great boost to the anti-coal campaign which was supported not just by the people of, of Goa but by two chief ministers of Goa including Degambar Kamat and Manohar Parikar. All of them had said that Goa should not be made into a coal hub. And so the Supreme Court has also said that you please we agree with the decision of the CEC, recommendation of the CEC that you go to this, um, this um, um, port which is mentioned here, which is the Vishakapatnam but Vishakapatnam port, which is which is, a, which is another port in uh, in uh, in uh, in um, um, Andhra Pradesh, rather than uh, cause this type of havoc, which is going to uh, be caused if this railway project is caused. Uh, the third aspect of the Supreme Court has emphasized is that this is a tiger corridor, which was never taken into consideration by the Indian Institute of Science, which did the wildlife study and afterwards by the Wildlife Institute of India. They pretended that there was only some time movement of tigers, but the fact is that this is declared as a tiger corridor by the Tiger National Tiger Conservation Authority. And that was never factored in by any of the authorities, including the Standing Committee of the National The parents of Nidhi Gupta have suspected foul play in their daughter's death at Arambol, Goa. Nidhi complained of chest pain in V hours while staying at Lotus Sutra, a mini resort at Arambol, and was immediately rushed to Tuve Community Health Center, where the doctors declared her broad dead. Perne police conducted Panchanama, but the family has submitted a memorandum to Perne deputy collector, suspecting foul play and have demanded a thorough investigation. So far, the death has been registered as unnatural death. After the family of the deceased suspected foul play, the matter is with the deputy collector Perne for inquiry. If the STM finds anything suspicious in the inquiry, then STM will lodge a complaint with us and based on that, the case will be registered as murder, the police said. We are at the place in Arabor where the incident took place on 29th of April. That is uh, in the view hours and the place of incident is at a mini resort where Nidhi Gupta died in the hotel itself. Now as per our sources, Presently, the case is with the deputy collector Pedne after the parent of the girl suspected foul play in the matter. The couple had arrived to Goa on the 24th of April. They first stayed at the hotel in Kalangut. On the 28th later, they came to Arambol. And on 28th night, the couple had dinner and went to sleep. Now, during the few hours of the next day, she complained of chest pain. Where and then she was immediately shifted to the 2 a uh, community health center where the doctors on duty declared her broad dead. Penne police had conducted the panchnama. The cause of the death has been not revealed as the Vaisara has been preserved yet. Yes, point to be noted is that the Vaisara has been preserved. Now the family has uh, submitted a memorandum to the Penne deputy collector stating foul play and have demanded thorough investigation. Now, as per police sources, the Perne police station said that so far the case is being investigated as unnatural death by us. After the family of the deceased suspected foul play and the matter is with the deputy collector Perne for inquiry. If the SDM finds anything suspicious in the inquiry, then SDM will lodge a complaint with us and based on the case, we will register it as a murder. This is Pierre de Souza with Ashmita Poji for Herald TV. In a surprising admission, Revenue Minister Athanasio Monserrat admitted that red tapism exists in government. When asked if his department also suffered due to delays, he said red tapism exists in government. He also admitted that quality also suffers in government since it goes for lower tender. 
He also stressed the need for technological changes in revenue department and the need to train all revenue department staff. Referring to Banginim garbage plant, Monserrat said it is under process since only there was on one tender bid for the project. Revenue Minister Atanasya Monserrat admitted that red tapism exists in government. He also admitted that quality also suffers since government goes for lowest tender. Babush also stressed the need to train all revenue department staff. Red tapism is not common. Quality is not common. You see the lowest part of it. Technology is basically changes every day. So you should always keep updating this thing on every day to day basis. Revenue department and IT regarding थोड़े अपग्रेडेशन जाओ बाद रिश्ता आईटी स्टाफ आ अन्य बाकी चीज़ मामले दर भी देंगे का देंगे ट्रेनिंग तालाटी लोगों ने जो ट्रेनिंग दियो दियो देर जी मामला तो रंग तालाटी बाकी सब ले एके भी सब ले क्या करने के लिए ले ले एवरीवन नीड्स टू बेसिकली गो फॉर ट्रेन एक्सपीरियंस इट इस इ See whoever, suppose you are on the computer, you feel that um, Baba, that fellow is not up to the, uh, the mark, send him uh, for, uh, for training. It is, it is their job, Mamlara's um, uh, job, deputy uh, collector's job, the, uh, collector's job. It is for the, uh, them to see, uh, see that their uh, staff functions for what they have uh, taken for. Okay, so knowledge of gradation job is there? आइस आइस ते पंचायती में डर फाले ते आम दारा उधात ले सो टीचर तुम आप लोग ना गली बाटी ना दिंगा वहीं माय माय सही ना कोर्टल लिंग सी दिस इज डेमोक्रेसी एनीवन कैन कॉन्टेस्ट फ्रॉम एनीवेयर एटलिस्ट एस एमएलए एस लॉन्ग एस यू आर वोटर ऑफ एनीवेयर फ्रॉम द स्टेट ऑफ गोवा यू कैन MP, I can do more. I can go and contest in, in, in uh, maybe in any uh, other state. That's all we have in today's news bulletin. Thanks for watching Herald TV News. For more news alerts, please follow us on O Heraldo on Facebook and Twitter. Take care and goodbye.